Instead of saying, can I have your attention, please, you drop back. Okay. Okay, she does, she does have trumpet. So, so, so my name is uh, Ludwig Siegel and uh, I work for The Economist. Um, I'm, I'm the technology editor and uh, your host asked me to, to give you a little talk and, uh, and tell you about what The Economist is and what The Economist does digitally and what The Economist does with video and TV. And I promise you I'm not going to speak for long because I know you're busy and you're probably very tired and uh, you, you want to continue with your project rather than listening to, 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 to me. Um, Okay, again, my name, Ludwig Ziegler, technology correspondent. Um, what does that mean? Oh. Can you hear me? Or, yeah, I hate yeah, my um, so, so I cover the technology industry. At The Economist, we have two people covering the technology industry. Uh, that's me, in, based in London, and a colleague of mine in San Francisco. And so it's a very global beat, and the reason I'm here is, is because I spent some time in, in Tokyo to talk to startups there. Uh, and, and to write a piece about, about the startup scene in, in Tokyo, which apparently is, is, is doing better now, though I'm not, not, not so sure. So it's, it's, it's a very broad beat. Perhaps uh, a few words about myself. Uh, um, I am uh, very old, I'm more than 50 years old um, compared to you guys. Uh, I've been a journalist for uh, more than 35 years. Um, I started very early freelancing for the local newspaper. I've gone to two journalism schools, one in Cologne and one in Paris. I've worked for a German weekly called Die Zeit, The Times, um, in Paris as a business correspondent. I've worked in Silicon Valley, in Berlin, uh, done German politics, and then I moved back to London and, and, and became technology correspondent. Um, more importantly, perhaps uh, a few words about The Economist. So the Economist is a weekly magazine. Uh, uh, we have a circulation of uh, 1.6 million uh, globally. Most of our uh, Copies are sold in the US, more than half. Um, we have about 4 million readers weekly. Our staff is, I think it's, we're, we're only 70 to 80 journals, so it's very small actually. And, and one of the tricks uh, with the economists, and I'm probably not supposed to tell this, is it looks like a lot of stuff, a lot of coffee, but actually it's not that much coffee. Um, but uh, that is changing, and, and, and that leads me to the next point is, is um, the online stuff we're doing. So of course we, we, we also have to deal with what's happening online and, and, and the industry is changing. Um, and, and perhaps uh, I, I should say that the comms has never been kind of a leading edge uh, innovator. We've always kind of reacted to developments. Uh, and, and the same happened, uh, to give you one example, we had, uh, didn't have color in the magazine until I joined, uh, which was kind of 98. So we had black and white, black and white magazine um, uh, till '98, and the same thing with, with online. I think we started very late, having 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 a website, and uh, that is mainly because we we're quite successful. I mean, we were very profitable. We could run that magazine uh, without um, any advertising, and uh, so why change? I mean, classical problem. Also, you have to see, I mean, you see, I said I'm old, I joined, joined The Economist about 20 years ago, and once you join The Economist, uh, you don't leave, because it's, it's a great place to work. They let you do whatever you want. I mean, if I want to go to Tokyo to talk to startups, I don't have to ask anybody. Um, and, and so they pay you well, so you, that's why you don't leave, and that's why you have lots of kind of people like me at The Economist, uh, white and male and middle age. Um, and, and that, of course, doesn't, uh, it means that we don't, don't we're not really uh, plugged into what, what, what's happening, for example, in universities. Um, so when we first had a website, we thought, yeah, that, that's not a problem. We just put our stuff, our print stuff, uh, online, our articles, and that's it. So it's, it's a different form of paper. That was the first thinking. And we had only very, uh, uh, not a lot of online-only content. And we only now realize that when you start to digitize things. Uh, it's not the same business model, it's not the same way. For public printing for, um, with a few of the fucking um, It's very print 
optimized building. So I sit in my office, my little office. I, I, I write my articles. And then I, when I'm, once I'm done, I hand it to the graphics department downstairs and they find some chart and some picture and that is it. And that's completely changing. So now we have to we have a data department that, that looks for data uh, uh, visualization. We have multimedia people. We have uh, um, social media people. They socialize articles. Uh, I hate that word. Uh, and so it's much more routine work what they have to do. It's no longer me in front of the TV, uh, in front of the monitor writing and thinking how I see the world. It's much more. So this is an idea I do, for example, I gave you the example of startups in, in, in Japan. Um, uh, so I have to go down to the people to social. How, how, how can we socialize it? How can we promote that? How can we find good, best audiovisual stuff? Um, and so on. So it's, it's more teamwork. Um, and we, we, we realize that and we start really to change. So it's only now that, that we become really, we, we got to go through this digital transformation. Uh, other aspects of that is that we completely rejigger our, our technology, uh, meaning we had a very old uh, publishing system, CCI. You probably heard about that. Uh, we're now building a new platform, a new publishing platform that allows us to, to quickly kind of publish in all channels, or quickly socialize, or quickly build or reuse elements. Uh, uh, a bit like Medium. You've heard about Medium. Medium, the website, uh, they have a very good um, data-driven driven platform. We want to, want to do that too. Uh, and uh, we're also going to move uh, offices now. Uh, because the office we have is optimized for print, we need something much more startup, much more like this, perhaps. Open plan uh, for stand up uh, uh, rooms, kind of, as I said, like, 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 a, like a startup. Um, yes, and, and again, I mean, the, the point I want to drive home is, is once things become digital, the entire business model changes. It's, it's no longer just kind of writing something or making a movie. Or, or, um, or that type of stuff. So, so the thing, I mean, you probably know this better than I, but the thing I, I want, to, want to point out is, so, so if, if, if you want to be a journalist uh, uh, these days, it's, you, you basically need to be an all-rounder. When I went to journalism, journalism school, it was basically talking to people on the phone, reading newspapers, and then writing what you think. Um, perhaps to, to, to conclude, what, what we do with the video stuff uh, uh, online, we had, of course, as many uh, Western media, we had a, a, an ill-fated attempt of doing TV. Uh, and we spent a lot of money doing TV 20 years ago. We closed that down. And uh, about five or six years ago, we started again to do kind of podcasts or uh, 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 interviews, which we could then put, put online. So we have these videos. If you go to our own page, you can see that twice or three times a week. But that's very, very traditional. Uh, just, I mean, they have they build a studio, they put it in there, they ask the journalists, and they hope that, that people uh, uh, listen to that or download that. It's it's not very successful. So what they started doing is, 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 is and and it, it's hard to get advertising. I mean, it's always, of course, with this stuff, it's important that you can sell advertising against it, and 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 advertisers were too interested. But they have um, done something new recently, the Economist, and uh, they started the Economist Films which are very high-end uh, films produced kind of in the economist style, which they sell to a sponsor, be it GE or, or be it Nike or whatever. And that seems to be a business model that works well. It also works well for us because we can, we are all about quality, high-end journalism. Um, and, and, and so you can go to, I think it's, it's uh, www.economist.com slash films and, and you'll see the examples we have. Okay, I'm, I've already talked for too long. You probably want to go back to your, your project, but if you have any questions, go ahead. I'm also going to stick around. So if you want to walk up to me, talk to me, happy to, happy to chat. Uh, question. All right, you must cover innovation. Yeah. Uh, what kind of stories are you looking at when you talk about innovation? Um, I, mean, I, I've, I mean, we have several people writing about innovation because we don't see innovation just as a, as a text story. The way I cover it, I'm very interested in startups. So in two years ago, I wrote a, a, a special report, 13 pages, on the startup movement, the global startup movement, called the Cambrian uh, Moment. So if you, if you type that in, if you Google that, you'll find that. And, and I still do that. So that the reason I was in Tokyo is just to check out what, what's, happening, um, what's happening in Tokyo. And the, uh, the story I'm going to do is to look at three countries where it's actually very difficult 
to, to launch startups or for startups very difficult to find money and that is Tokyo, uh, Colombia, uh, Bogota and probably Italy. So I'm trying to kind of find a theme why, why it is difficult uh, uh, for startups to, to get going there. Yeah. The new branch, where is the office? The new branch? No, in, in, in London. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna move in London, but we're probably gonna move into an area where we're, there's lots of startups. So we we increasingly see ourselves as as a as a firm that works a bit like 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 startups. So that hence a publishing platform, and then probably we work more in teams publishing stuff. Okay. Can you go first? Okay. So there's a lot for everyone. Right. So. When, when a company is the market leader, uh, you have less incentive to yeah. build it, right? So, how do you incentivize your staff, especially the, the, the old one, right? Um, to like write faster, to, to socialize news, to yeah. think about ways, different ways of presenting stories. You know, how did you make that transition? Very good question, because that that is that is I should have said that before. That is the key issue. So the economist, I think, the economist is so successful because we are a big weekly publication. So uh, and, and and we recruit, uh, let's say, a lot of people who went to Oxford work with the economist. Even a lot of people who went to one college, modern college. Uh, so I'm the exception. I'm German. Uh, uh, there are a few Germans, a few French people, and Americans. But I mean, it is culturally very good. And so it's about kind of we get together on Monday, we talk about what we could write about, or Friday there's a meeting too. There's a whole kind of there's a, a workflow developed over uh, decades because the economist is 170 years old, and people don't even know exactly. Couldn't explain to you how this works. But I mean, there's there's a rhythm to it. So you sit down and then you think about it, and then at some point on, on a Tuesday or, or on a Monday you write. And that is that was very successful, and people liked it. And America, especially Americans like it because Americans think if you have a British accent and if you write in a British way, that's cool. So uh, it's kind of the, the brand. So I have the economist, I'm, I'm clever. Um, and now comes in this this online stuff, which is immediate, which is different. It's about not just about the print word. Uh, um, it's about fast reaction. It's more like a newswire. And to get these kind of two. Uh, different types of media together. That is our challenge, and we haven't figured that out because we have to be careful. We, so, so our sales point is to have kind of the week long thinking. Or even, I mean, if I do, I did a story on on, on, on blockchain that took me weeks, and they allowed me to do that. Uh, at, at the same time, you have to do like the, the stuff for the app now, or you have to do a podcast. You have to. Uh, an, an online piece, and that is to, to get that together is, is, is really difficult, and we haven't. I don't think we have figured it out yet. Uh, my question is: uh, many, uh, yeah, many financial newspapers find it very difficult to uh, promote their story on social media yes. because uh, they can't find the right target audience. Uh, do you have? Uh, do you have you figured out any way to? Um, yeah, to, to social media. Okay, um, so what we first tried to do is get journalists to tweet. I mean, it's also to your point. That, of course, was a complete failure. Because if even if they tweeted, they didn't tweet in the way you should tweet and kind of the, all the tricks in the, of, 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 of the trade. So it was quite boring. So, and um, until recently, we had Eric Schmidt on our board. And so Eric Schmidt uh, on, in one board meeting said, you have to hire 20 social media interns. And, and, and the new editor, uh, Zani uh, Mendelo, she said, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And so uh, she got money to hire 10 social media interns. And now we have uh, a few hipsters uh, next to people like me on the same floor, which is kind of funny. And they uh, do nothing but social, socialize or social uh, 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 the article. And they're quite good at it because, I mean, they're in their early 20s. They know how to do this. Do uh, they rewrite the story or...? No, they, what, mainly what they do is they look for interesting phrases and kind of know when they tweet it or if something comes up, something is trending, they try to inject uh, uh, old stuff we had or, or, or other um, articles, older articles. And they're quite good. I mean, they have, uh, since they work for us, we, I think we 
increased our uniques by 25 percent so the or, or page views I, I don't know I don't but it's I mean it works I mean in a way the, the whole social thing is, is I don't know if you know but the New York Times pioneered home delivery before the New York Times did that people in the US wouldn't kind of get the newspaper delivered uh, uh, to their homes and, and that kind of made commercially at least during a certain period made the New York Times and I think social this, Distribution, that's the new home delivery. So you need to do that. Um, is, is the channel maybe Twitter? Or other, other it other is. It's, originally, it was Facebook and Twitter. Uh, uh, increasingly, they're trying to go broader. Because what, what you want to avoid to be dependent on one platform. So if Twitter, Twitter doesn't work anymore, Twitter gets sold, or they do whatever, they screw up the platform, you don't want to be, be dependent on Twitter. So they do WhatsApp, they do LinkedIn, they do uh, 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 YouTube. I mean, the whole kind of. Thing. And I think that's the future too. And these these these, these services will kind of rise and, and fall, and, and so you have to you have to have infrastructure to to be able to react. Okay. Um, so I have I've, I've been reading about yeah. very good things about Economist Espresso, yeah. the Daily Digest, yeah. and um, I haven't used it because of the paid product. So I'm not sure. Are you? Involved in it and can you share it something about it? Yeah, I mean, first, first, first question. So, the, 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 the espresso is kind of an attempt to merge these two things, kind of our way of thinking plus being able to read quickly. So, yes, I'm involved, all journalists are involved. Um, it's, it's that they, we have a team of two or three uh, very experienced journalists, and they also come around the world. So, the, the, the handoff. Uh, it's holding the, the sun, so to speak. And they, uh, yes, and I have to write a chunk, as we call them. Oh, it's a chunk. It, it's not so a chunk. Yeah, but in I, have to, I have to write one, and then I send it to, to London, and they edit it. It's, um, it's good. And actually, it's, I have to say, um, I found to write for online, like writing for an article for online is very uh, disrupting, but writing a chunk takes you 15, 20 minutes. And, uh, and you can be quite opinionated in 120 words or 50 words. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for listening. And again, I'm, I'm going to stick around. So if you have questions, you want to take a break. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we choose, uh, we, uh, uh, uh,